Yes, my wife was still Kyoko. All right, where the hell did we leave off? All right, Byakuya, something about like finding something. All right. Listen. I love sound. Oh, oh, I eat a lot. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. God, oh God I didn't miss this guy one bit. Don't make me if you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Oh, oh, oh shit. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No! You've forgotten about shit! <laughs> Are you serious? You've forgotten about shitting. This character, dude. Oh my lord. <laughs> Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Is this his character? Like, for real? Hmm. <laughs> oh lordy. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Persona, 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 persona. Social links, social links, social links. I should probably add that when I'm editing the fucking video. Hello. Persona, 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 persona. Social links, social links, social links, social links, social links, social links, social links. Bond. I. This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can accomplish. It's obvious. You all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross. <laughs> wow. He said that with a straight face. <laughs> How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> uh, just as I figured. <laughs> that was kind of lame, huh? However, oh, lepers! However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of one another. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. <laughs> However, we what we need to achieve that solitary is not something as easygoing and optimi optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership. Okay? Provided by an unmistakable leader. If you better not fucking say yourself. I see. I see. Even sport teams need captains after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Oh, of course. Huh? Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second! Oh my god, she's so she she's she's cute. Without a doubt, she is very cute. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? what did you just say? I don't care how you <laughs> how you excuse it, you're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own, and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more <laughs> Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny <laughs> of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. The Illuminati. What are you saying? Seriously? I'm telling you that <laughs> attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation. I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But that may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonia can. No. Ah, Sonia the princess. No, perish the thought. I am mere <laughs> merely a figurehead. Hey. At least she admits it. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear. Then I guess we made our decision. I'm fat as hell. Don't worry. As long as I'm leader, <laughs> I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. This okay. The rudeness is Biakia, but 
you know, the Byakuya that we know, especially the one that I know, the douchebag one from DR1, he would never say, I promise. Just, just that even that word alone, promise. He would never say that. This is getting weird, dude. <laughs> ah, there she is! <laughs> so reliable. <laughs> it's true, he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. Thank you, Hajime. The writing. Thank you. I expected the ultimate affluent proge progeny to look down on us like we're mere bugs or something. Well, he did that in the first game. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at, at hand. For real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's at... <laughs> as... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Every time, just him commanding us as fat as he is, it's just making me giggle inside, just because, again, we know Byakuya, and he was very, very slim, very slick looking back in DR1, and now look at him. He just went downhill. Completely. Jesus Christ. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. It's just as I thought. He sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have <laughs> made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. And then there were three. Why the hell are you guys still here? <laughs> she is scarfing down so hard. You don't have to pay attention to me. Just go. I I'll catch up with her soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I, when I get hungry, I, I lose most of my energy. So, after she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one gulp. Oh man, that was good. Wow, dude, she's fucking crazy. You ate so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. Oh, oh no. What happened? Are, are you choking? Crap, now that I've eaten a little, I'm even hungrier. Wow. So annoying. Jeez, Byakuya better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I like this girl. I guess I should go for now. Nope, I got to I gotta talk to this man. Let's go, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy! What's with the peas, dude? What the hell? My four dark divas of destruction, let us venture to the end of the earth. Jabberwock Park. Jesus Christ. There's no need to shout, just hurry up and go already. Okay. Oh, oh, we got it. We you know what we got to do? We got to check our, to our, our Tomagachi. Which one is it? Ain't it. Tomagachi, don't you dare freaking die. Hey. Despair meter? Why the hell is the despair meter freaking going up? Oh hell no! Nah. I don't understand. What kind of give you as a present? I got mono coins. I could try going to the freaking uh, the freaking um. Can I get? Actually, can I find mono coins here? Maybe. Uh, maybe I can try to go to that mark market and try to use that machine. What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. He is still freaked out. That's what he. <laughs> what? Didn't the same thing happen last time too? Hey, <laughs> Hajime, how many times are you gonna surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. <laughs> Shut up! I'm going. To, I'm going back to my room. Seriously, <laughs> this is all just one big hassle. Ah, oh, damn it! Seriously, if we're on a tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? I see you're at level 6. Is that a, is that a good thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Kinda. I did that when I was on vacation at a certain part here in Florida. It was very relaxing. And the private beach? Wow, beautiful. Because there was barely anybody there. 
I like when the beach is basically kind of empty with a handful of people. That's the beach I like. Relax! Snapping at me won't change a thing, okay? Hey! Hajime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Why? Huh? For coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. You can't just... Will a coconut open? Just give up, and <laughs> What the hell, man? Ah! Uh, you just don't understand. Fine, by the way. I'm never gonna ask you for help again. He left. I hope he goes straight to the park. Alright. Anyways. Because walking is actually an essential part of this damn game. I'm gonna go to that damn market, try to do that mono, that mono machine that I freaking found. And then we're gonna go to the park. That kind of shit. He likes cocoa nuts. Jesus Christ. Ranch. He wants that juice. Jesus Christ. There are a lot of people. Yep, there is. Oddly enough, when I play the other games, we don't get this high. Uh, we don't usually get this high. We get pretty high, but not this high. When it's basically something everyone that is... Everyone that it's... I can't even speak right. If it's something that everyone is anticipating for, then of course it's gonna skyrocket. But I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to play this game. Ow. Wait, who the hell is here? Oh, it's the freak- Wait, I saw something. I could've sworn I saw something. I could've sworn I saw something. Alright. This, this is the closest thing near the Mono Mono machine. What the hell? Oh, it's not random anymore? Oh, come on! It's not even a gambling system anymore! What kind of shit? Oh, I'm so disappointed. And it's so limited, dude. Oh, come on! Oh, my god. The thing, I, I love the Mono Mono Machine back in DR1 because you legitly get to gamble. And this one, you just pick it out! Oh, it's not, it's not cool at all! Jewelry, that's all my money right there. I know there's a Monokuma right there. It's right there! I saw it! If I could go to it, Jesus. Huh? Are you serious? I forgot about that. that they, I forgot that they gave you coin. Where's the rest of it at? <laughs> The real model model machine is at the beach where you first started? Really? Okay. Get those tissues, Jerome. You're gonna have to fap to your wife who is lordy, have mercy. If okay, I'm gonna okay. This is this is a mono vending machine. So if it's if the mono machine is at the beach, you better not be fucking lying, Junpei. If it's at the beach, I'm gonna gamble my ass off. I I really don't like the fact that you uh, have to choose out your stuff. Wasn't I just at a level 6? Why the hell am I at level 7 already? Like I said, walking is essential in this game, apparently. God, the running animation is so damn gross. It legitly looks like those paper figurines that they're just moving on screen. That's what it looks like. Did I just pass it? What? Oh my god, I just went in a circle. I was looking at chat. Don't forget about the lotion. Back to the drawing board. There it is. Oh lordy! Yes! Oh, would you like to try your hand against the almighty mono mono Yashin? But then it's look it's looking at the monkey. Whatever. What the 
fuck is this? Huh. So instead of, you know, your traditional machine, it's uh, basically coconuts coming from the sky. I, I... At least in the first DR game, the freaking... The damn things were noticeable and like what they are. I don't even know what the hell these things look like. Or not look like. I don't know what they are. That's a book apparently. Oh, that's the rose in the bottle thing! I know that sh I know that shit. I always gave that to my wife back in DR1. Okay, that's a carrot. More roses. Gonna give that to every woman in here. Don't know what the hell that is. Can I get lucky already? Oh, we got the drool! That shit costs 10 coins at the freaking vending machine. Screw that vending machine. I'll go on luck on this crap. We got pants. Who the hell will want pants? I don't know. What the hell is that? A watch? Oh, that's the uh, the uh, freaking the plating. I know that. It looks because it looks familiar. We got Speedy Gonzalez shoes. Uh, a kitchen knife, you know, Sayaka. May she rest in peace. A scroll. Ah, oh, yes, we got lucky. Now nah, we just got a freaking a moon rock. Never mind. That was fun. <laughs> oh, that's all I wanted to do, man. That's all I wanted to do. Just gamble. Gambling's in my blood in this game. Alright, where the hell am I going? Gotta check on the, on the Tomagachi. Why the hell are you taking so much shits? Jesus Christ. Why is this? Why is. Th oh, wait, hold on. I could give her. Or it. Freaking. Fresh I could give it, like. I don't know what, though. A kiss note? A notebook considered. <laughs> To be good, a good luck charm. The human whose name is written in this. What? The human whose name is written in this notebook shall kiss you. The human who uses this notebook will lose their heart forever. What? Okay. We got moon rocks. You want a moon rock? I'll give this damn thing a moon rock. Can I give this thing anything and it will like it? Draw Miss Carmen. <laughs> what the fuck? Stupid! I just really, I just clicked the link on Sonic. Freaking Carmen the Frog using lotion. I seen this gif, this gif somewhere, man. Holy shit! But does but does the the stuff I give to this damn rabbit um help well, not help or ah, fuck what's the proper word the stuff I give this rabbit will it uh bring her despair the despair meter down because I really don't need that shit to be up oh the tone oh yeah I got the carrot yeah you're so right where the hell is it? where the hell is it at. It worked! <laughs> oh my god! So this one is very picky as well. Very picky. I know this damn thing don't want no damn rose. Alright. Jerome finally feeds his damn pet. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm free. I freaking took a break from this game. I'm just gonna fast travel there. Where's it at?
Oh, look, is that a bomb? Is that a bomb? For skinny people, you're awfully, awfully slow. Bitch, you want to challenge me to a race? Um. It seems you're you're just fast for us, or just too fast for us. Uh. Jeez, I never expect, <laughs> expected a fat so like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such huh. If you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss to dismiss you all as is idiots. Holy shit! It's a bomb. Is that a bomb? Holy Jesus! <laughs> I see. It appears this island is teeming with evil energy. Such a comforting feeling. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my Wowzers! What, 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 is, what is that? It's all like, dun dun dun. Oh my god, Ibuki is so awesome. Legit friend, like best friend, dude. Best friend for life. I see. I see. He wanted to show us that. I'm still not gonna forget that you wear black thongs, woman. Um, get to your this Yakuza guy. Huh? <laughs> Cowards. Okay, whatever. She's gonna fall asleep, isn't she? Maybe he wants us to see that thing? Nope, she didn't fall asleep. <clears throat> what is that? I swear that wasn't there yesterday. You were probably too busy taking a shit to notice. Hey, that hey. thing looks pretty big. I'm probably just thinking too much, right? Oh, Kazumi! Huh? Huh? What is that? Was that thing there when it when we came here last time? Short hair, redhead, freckles, pale skin. Oh my god, she has everything. Not you! <laughs> huh? <coughs> uh. Oh lordy. Man, I'm hungry. Alright, talk to the Oh! Princess is here. Easy as pie. <laughs> it is like a game of spot the difference. I am quite <laughs> I am actually quite good at that. Really? Alright, do I have to talk to you? Hmm. Huh. If you haven't realized okay, that's the same fucking line. No, it's, it's definitely not this thing. I'm just trying to get my level up. Um, um I think it's better if you properly eat breakfast before you move around. Um, ah, I'm sorry. sorry, I'm meddling too much. <laughs> She's cute. What is that? 21 days left? An obviously out of <laughs> an obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. You know, despite the countdown and all that kind of shit. It's counting down! Thank you. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <clears throat> I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed when it was actually placed here, sorry. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? Huh. I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me, because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? It better not be a bomb! Thank you for sp telling- Oh my god, so a character actually says it! Are you kidding me? B a bomb?! Not possible. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Um. Then, what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. D uh, ooh, I like this shot of Akane. It's really good. Right? A mystery is a mystery, isn't it? Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Monomi. What? Why are you here? Um. I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. No, not that. 
didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to worry about that. Or don't have to. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. <laughs> Fucking shit. Gundam. It appears. <laughs> I see. You must be an undead abomination risen from the foul depths of the netherworld by black magic. <gasps> Do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monomi is a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she only needed, like, a, a spare or something. A spare? <laughs> what a mean thing to say! <laughs> Isn't her name Usami or something like that? Hm. However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. <gasps> huh? Countdown? <laughs> what is this? Eh. Uh. I'm sorry. So low tier? Yeah, that's right. I'm not giving it my all. I'll only give it my all when I'm freaking talking as Monokuma. That's basically it. When I talk as Monokuma, I try I go all out because he's my favorite character in Danganronpa. And I, I could probably say that for everyone. He's just an awesome little evil bastard. I love that guy. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? Speaking of Monokuma, I gotta get ready for my Monokuma voice, bro. That's wrong. <coughs> I'm not my brother's little sister. Well, she just said, okay, whatever. Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island! Please, Monokuma, you gotta come out now. <laughs> if you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um... Um... Let's... Together? I said get lost. Yeah. That's mean, Bialkia. I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, dude, she actually left! <laughs> wow! That's some pretty... That's some hard stuff, man. Perhaps you are being a little too harsh? Thank you, Sonya, you actually said what I thought. I am starting to feel f sorry for it. <sighs> Miss Sonya, may I call you Miss Sonya? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock for? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? No. Who put that object here, and how did they do it in, the f in just one night? <laughs> Shots fired. I can't imagine. Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. As I get gassy. Excuse me. This island is full of mystery, za, that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he's right. This is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was no resort destination, now in an un uninhabited island? There's no, there is no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This, too, must be the will of causality. Whatever you say, fucking Gundam. <laughs> Whatever the hell you say. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets exists or bejets, whatever. An existence be whatever, nothing. I can't- I can't read! You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. True. True. I like it. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. 
That is such a sad trend. Hmm. Uh, I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. So. Maybe the Mono Beast killed everyone on this island. <laughs> and that's how it became uninhabited. <laughs> it's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. Uh, it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right. It's mysterious on it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. Fenrir. That group from uh the first game. What are you trying to say? So in other words. I mean the situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Uh! Hmm. Monomi, Monokuma, the Mono Beast, they're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a ton of funding, and there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words, that organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. Mm. Organization 13? Get the hell out of here. I see. A big or organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words... Well, let's see... There's my Togami Corporation, Sonya's Novelistic Kingdom, and the Kuzuryu Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? <laughs> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. <laughs> he was like, man, what, a, what the fuck ever. Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kizuryu clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonya. Miss Sonya is a hot blonde princess. She, there's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, you loser. Whoa. Loser? Are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> It must be hard to make your living in the lame-ass loser industry. This, this fucking, this character, man. <laughs> too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Biakio, were you serious just now? About this being related to your family and Sonya's and such? Hmm. I'm just using them as, as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... Whatever. How long are we gonna keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? About how fucking I got no other teeth besides my damn big-ass overbite. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh! Alright. Our enemies purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So in other words... So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be that much closer to a big breakthrough. Luckily, according to the ebook, we are free to explore this island. Listen. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. Makoto got to this, man. I'm gonna do it! All right, let's get this crap done. <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? She's hey. cute. Akane, were you just listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. Go by four dark devas of destruction. Jesus Christ. They are destined to fall and turn to ash at the might of my four dark devas of destruction. Jesus lordy, have mercy on this man's soul. Wow. 
Wow! Hamsters came out of your scarf! <laughs> they are so adorable! What? Adorable, you say? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fucking Gundam, dude. To think this guy would say that. Oh my my! You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. <laughs> this fucking this this cast is actually really funny. I can honestly say right now, the first cast was it was kind of funny, but this one, um, you could see them getting together a lot more quicker than the cast back in DR1 did.